So what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to jump into Artisan Mastery. Now, I know I've done a bunch of different videos on PvE and I'm really heavy based on PvE at the minute, but it is a massive part of the game and even if you're going to be PvP, you need to know this stuff and the systems are just so in-depth. It's fucking brilliant to see Intrepid going in the direction they are. But in this video, I am going to try and cover as much as I can on the Artisan Mastery trying to give you that information you need to understand it a little bit better. I will cover Gathering and processing leading into crafting but it'll be very vague and it won't even be the tip of the iceberg because i've made three previous videos and if you want to check out them i would go have a gander at them but this is going to fully cover artisan mastery but without rambling on anymore i'll just jump right into the video now so there's going to be three classes in the artisan system and they're going to be gathering processing and crafting as i've just said gathering's going to consist of stuff like fishing herbalism hunting lumberjacking and mining process will consist of stuff like alchemy, animal husbandry, cooking, farming, lumber milling, metalworking, stone masonry, tanning and weaving. And crafting's going to consist of arcane engineering, armor smithing, carpentry, jewel cutting, leather working, scribing, tailoring and obviously weapon smithing. But without going on, if you do want to know anything more about any of these classes, you can check out my last three videos which cover each of them classes in much more detail. And if you haven't watched them, I really would check them out because it's the most up-to-date information and one of them has the latest drops we got from the live stream and some stuff from the reddit q a but back to the video now your race religion and class do not affect what artisans you can choose which is good to know whichever artisans you choose will not affect your character's stats and while progression within your artisan is not linked to your character's level you will want to level up your character due to the dangers within the world there's also gonna be no labor or energy system within ashes of creation which i'm a massive fan of and i do really like that they've went in this direction and not added in any labor or energy bullshit now i understand some people do like that and they like the balancing out and they like kind of the strategy and, and figuring out oh i've only got this much to allocate and whatnot but on a game like ashes it's going to be very limiting for you and honestly you might think it sounds okay to have that but it's just going to be a fucking ball ache it's going to limit you your guild and your progression and it just wouldn't work with the way intrepid are doing stuff within vera now that's just my personal opinion obviously each to the own but I'm happy with the direction they've took that. Now when it comes directly to arts and mastery, a player will only be able to master one arts and class. From the arts and class you can only master two, maybe three if we're lucky, professions. It is currently set to two, however this may change during the alpha 2 testing phase. Now obviously with it being said that that is the current way, it's going to be two, maybe three. We don't know 100%, so I would take it with a pinch of salt because we need to get into alpha 2 and anything Anything you're reading now for the most part is facts, the stuff I put on my videos is facts, but during Alpha 2 it's going to change vastly. By the time Alpha 2 finishes, say it's 12 months, say it's 18 months for persistent testing phase, this game is going to look drastically different and huge changes will be made and people are going to have to get on board with that and know they're going to have to change their mindset, their playstyle and what they think of the game with the changes or they're not going to enjoy it and going in saying that oh this is how it's going to be, I'm happy with this, this is perfect, I wouldn't really set your mindset in stone and think this is perfect because the game is going to change and I think it needs to because there's definitely some issues there and once we get in alpha 2 that's where they will really rise up it's all good seeing this on paper it's all good for you to craft and comparing this to other games but this is not your standard mmo it's much more advanced not to shit on any others than most mmos there's a lot of competing conflicting systems that could potentially be abused or exploited and all of it needs to work in sync and in theory it does look like it's gonna but i can guarantee you when we get in things go to shit and there's many things that players do where they figure out a way to choose stuff or fuck about but as a so we're going to have to get an alpha 2 and really check that out. Now, you will also be able to level to tier 3 or 4 of any profession you haven't mastered, no matter what the tree is. So, don't think that, oh no, you can only master these things. That's super limiting. This is a bit bullshit. Well, no, not really, because once you get to that master tier, it's going to take time, it's going to take effort, and it's going to take some fucking skill and work. And, you know, it will be a time sink. So, the fact that you're not kind of capped out, it's not like, oh, but you can only get tier 1 or 2 in the others. No, you can go right up to tier 3 or 4 
more, which means you can kind of advance your character massively. But I do get why they're doing that, because it kind of forces you into a situation where you need to communicate, you need to work within your guild, and it brings in that social aspect. And so much of us as a creation is social. It's really good to see, and it's one of the main draws to me, because I'm sick of playing with guilds or running guilds where, you know, the game doesn't really incentivize playing together or that community. It's not even the members. Like, some of the members want to be social, but if a game makes it to the point where you don't really need to it kind of goes to shit and you know this shit's refreshing i do like it and i hope they stick in this direction and i'm about 99 percent sure with the will so we are definitely in for a treat and some really good community driven gameplay and some fun times within guilds and alliances so off my rambles there which i obviously do all the fucking time and i do try not to but for example say i was to choose master hunting and mining i can then get to tier three or four in all the processing and all the crafting professions and the three professions i have not mastered from the gathering tree the amount you are able to master is subject to testing so like i've said before bear that in mind and take it with a pinch of salt things will change but i personally think that's decent and i don't think it's very limiting and when you see how in depth these systems are and how much goes into it it will be a grind fest to really max out and everything and really get involved in every single aspect of the game whether it's the pvp to the pve and it's going to be really good and it's going to be fucking amazing now when you master a profession it's not just the end of it like oh i'm there now i can start crafting stuff these going to be other incentives and this will include benefits such as titles quest lines access to certain unlocked items and bargains with certain npcs characters on the same account will be able to have different professions so as the time goes on people will probably create alts and master other professions which kind of i know steven said it'll take four to six hours a day for 45 days to max out your character level your base level and he thinks that's a grind to me i really don't think that's a grind i don't think it's that difficult if you're actual just above like a normal player not casual but normal if you're 70 semi hardcore you're gonna smash it out so people will start using alts but i wouldn't worry that people are gonna abuse use the alts to the point where you really don't need to socialize and communicate within a guild because of all the other aspects that come into play it still makes sense and i still think it'll be perfectly fine and won't ruin any of the aspects of pvp or pve within the game so how exactly do you master a profession well to master a profession you're gonna have to repeat certain tasks that level your profession such as if you're a lumberjack you will have to cut down a certain level of basic trees before you can move on to the next tier there will also be certain benchmarks that need to be met within each profession i don't know if that's going to include a bunch of different quests or cut this amount of trees and then this amount of trees in this area and in this season you need to cut this tree and in the next season you need to cut this tree it really could be super complex and it could drag out and you might have to wait different seasons or potentially travel different biomes now that is speculation of how deep it will go but with the way intrepid are work and things and developing during this progression of the game i really do feel like it could go down this path and i hope it does because it kind of allows more realism and more immersion now i know that's a bit grinding some folks say oh, that's a ball ache. why should i have to wait for the next season or travel all the way to a different biome i just think it brings more immersion it gets you out there exploring and it doesn't make it as simple as just stand there afk clicking one tree in one area and just max out it really gets you playing the game rather than looking at your second monitor and just fucking spacing out and i want that i want a game that draws me in that i want to be in and hours pass by and i'm like shit i didn't even realize this game's so good I'm sick of playing afk farmers and bullshit games with no challenge it's really is refreshing to finally see someone stepping outside the box and saying this game won't be for everyone it will be niche and with everything within the pve and pvp it really is shown that they're sticking to the guns and i think come early next year if we see the alpha 2 it's going to be fucking awesome for any of the guys lucky enough to be able to you know financially get the money to pay into that now hopefully lately you have been enjoying the videos and learning some because you know there's a lot of time and research that goes into a lot of factual stuff and i understand they're not as speculative and super clickbaity and you know jumping into the different arguments within the communities or roasting certain youtubers for you know maybe not getting the content too factual but my aim with the channel was to bring a good you know library of videos so when we're playing the game within our discord within my community within the guild i can bring these in and when we get new guys in or new people jumping in i can fire these in my discord and i know i've checked these i know this isn't misinformation and it really helps teach people and learn the game and it gives that good vibe so this is why i'm 
going heavy with the factual ones at the minute. But do stick with the channel. I'm definitely going to get my more entertaining ones. I'm going to get the feedy crafting on the go. I'm going to be looking at speculative dates and what we're going to come into next year and what we should be seeing. But at the same time, there's a lot of information that needs covered that I wanted to fact check, that I wanted to double down on and get that information out there. Now, it is changing a lot, but that's why I try and keep up to date with the latest information. And hopefully, you are learning some. And if you are looking for the guild, we are quite strict with our recruitment and we are going to cap out at a certain number of people. So it's not like we're just taking on anyone. But if you do want a community where you just want to talk about ashes, you're watching the videos, you want to get involved, a lot of factual, bit of banter, it's a good laugh, feel free to join our Discord. I'll leave the link in the description below. But as always, I really do appreciate your support and watching the videos, dropping the comments down there. And I still am aiming, as I keep tripling on about, hitting that 2k for Alpha 2. That is one of my goals. I think I've still got about 800 and something to go. But we'll see if I've got three or four months we'll see if I can hit it and if you could give the video a share in different communities get folk talking hit that like button drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the current mastery system within Ashes of Creation do you think they could add anything or do you really like the way the PvE is going in the game at the minute but as always appreciate you watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one cheers